My name is Dr. Kevin Peterson. I'm a scientist and perfumer that also happens to own a bar. I use sensory analysis and basic scientific tools to study cocktails and make them more delicious. I love drinking daiquiris, but I tend to drink rather slowly, and usually the last few sips of my drink are kind of gross. Today I want to measure the lifetime of a daiquiri so I can make sure I finish it within the ideal window. My plan is to shake a daiquiri, take a sip every two minutes, and see how it progresses in time, see at what point it's no longer a reasonable drink. Timer has started. First sip. Tastes amazing. Fresh, bubbly, very lively. I can see a lot of bubbles. I can tell there's a lot of aeration. The sugar, the lime, and the rum. I can taste all of them. They're nicely balanced. All the aromas are nicely composed. Excellent. I'm going to wait two minutes. Take another sip. The drink is still delightful. I can tell there's a little bit less aeration. It's not quite as lively as the first sip. Still excellent. Still loving this drink two minutes in. Okay, we are at the four minute mark. Drink still tastes great. Aroma still smells delightful, balanced, composed. It does seem to be losing a little bit of luster. I might normally just drink the drink and enjoy every sip without this level of analysis, but for the sake of the experiment here, at the four minute mark, it is a notch down, even though it's still great. It seems like the lime is coming forward more than the rum or the sugar at this point. Visibly, it looks a little bit different. A lot of the pulp in the lime juice has floated to the top. The drink is definitely warmer than it was on those first sips. The sourness and the sweetness seem like they're a little bit too much. They seem like the exact right level on the first couple sips. Now we've crossed some kind of line where it's not quite balanced anymore. So at the six minute mark, noticeable changes occurring, a noticeably worse drink than when it was shaking. We're now at minute eight. The aroma is much more limey as it was on the previous sip. There's almost no aeration left. You know, visibly, I don't see any bubbles or just, just a tiny number right around the rim. If I look through the liquid itself, it's much more translucent than it was when I first shook it. It was pretty opaque right when I Shook it likely due to all the air bubbles in the drink. As I sip it, I don't I don't get that liveliness that I got on the first few sips. Drink is is really breaking down in a couple different ways at this point. Eight minutes in, ten minute mark. Probably drank half, if not two thirds, of the cocktail. This is likely a quicker pace than I would normally drink, but for the sake of science, it has to be done. Yeah, the aroma is quite a departure from the fresh cocktail. The lime seemed bright and interesting initially, and now it seems kind of past its prime. The feeling of the alcohol itself was not very present in the early sips. It's becoming much more apparent now. It's still got that kind of cloying, overly sour, overly sweet aspect that it had for the last few sips. Not, not desirable, not a good quality. So 10 minutes in, the drink is seriously breaking down. It's losing a lot of its appeal. The drink is approaching bad. It's leaving a weird feeling in the back of my throat. It's kind of like sticky and clammy. It makes my mouth feel just gross. It's not refreshing. It's not enjoyable. The flavors are not balanced. Yeah, the aroma has definitely taken a turn for the worse. A spoiled lime note. Very disappointing at 12 minute mark. There's about one more sip left in here. Let's see how minute 14 looks. Down to the last sip or two of the drink. It's now almost totally transparent, except for a little bit of pulp floating in there. The, the visible presence of any air bubbles has completely disappeared. Still got alcohol in it. It's about its only redeeming quality at this point. So we went from a delicious, bright, effervescent, lovely cocktail, great aroma, great taste, great mouthfeel, to a disappointing, sloppy, warm, cloying mess in the span of less than 15 minutes. The key findings here are that daiquiris are only ideal for about five minutes. And after 10 minutes, they are distinctly bad. 
I was intrigued that several characteristics got worse over time rather than just one temperature, duration, taste, mouthfeel, and aroma. Frankly, this is horrifying because I've served hundreds, if not thousands, of sweet sour drinks over the years, and how many of those were finished in 10 minutes or less? Very few of them. So that means some of my customers have definitely had non ideal drinks sitting in front of them, and I didn't even know it. One thing that I do wish I could do is drink some of these drinks back to back. The six minute version versus the two minute version, the four minute version versus the 10 minute version. Even going in this rapid succession, it's hard for me to remember exactly what the two minute version felt like, exactly what the two minute version tasted like. I wish I could compare them side by side to get a clear contrast between what's going on as the drink evolves. Be sure to check out my next video where I will shake a series of daiquiris and compare them side by side across multiple dimensions.